now we are going to talk about diminishing marginal rate of technical substitution or diminishing technical rate of substitution technical rate of substitution is just the another name of marginal rate of technical substitution so again just what is mrts just to revise it what is mrts what does it measure slope of isoquant it measures the slope of isoquant but that's very uh, mathematical answer what does it mean in economic sense that how much amount you have to substitute if you uh, of capital if you add one more unit of labor to okay. get the same out so broadly speaking it talks about uh, the marginal rate of technical substitution is nothing but rate at which one input can be substituted for the other input while keeping the output fixed we have to be on the same isoquant okay and when we are talking about capital and labor as we had done in the past this is the amount of capital that needs to be decreased to have the same output when we increase labor by one unit that is how we have defined. So, now the thing is if we keep on increasing the labor. So, whenever we increase labor what does it mean that here on this graph this is one isoquant let us say we are producing q naught and we are increasing l it means we are moving in this direction and on this isoquant we are moving along this curve. Okay. So, whenever we increase labor we have to decrease the amount of capital to obtain the same amount of output and if just we keep on increasing labor without decreasing the capital what will happen output will increase if marginal productivity of labor is positive okay and it will decrease if marginal productivity of labor is negative okay so unless unless we have marginal productivity of labor equal to 0 and we want to you know, we we won't be on the same isoquant if we increase the labor and when marginal productivity of labor is 0 how would this isoquant look like at that point it should be horizontal it should be horizontal as we get in the case of perfect complement when we are talking about this horizontal arm. Okay. So, basically we have to decrease the amount of capital. So, what do you think what happens to the amount of capital that we need to decrease whenever we increase labor by one unit and we want to be on the same isoquant what happens to this amount of capital that needs to be decreased in order to be on same isoquant. It should it be should it increase or should it decrease? decrease why should it decrease why should it decrease of course this is what diminishing marginal rate of technical substitution what does it say that when we are on the same isoquant and we keep on increasing l okay we keep on increasing on l so then respective decrease in capital to maintain the same level of production is decreasing so delta k that is required will decrease as we move in this direction okay just look at it here here we have let's say this is roughly same here we have L naught, here we have L naught plus 1, here we have L naught plus 2. Let us take this and let us take one more, fine. So, earlier this is the delta k, in the next turn this is smaller. So, if this is the shape of course, it is specific to the shape 
it is specific to the shape. So, what we are talking about remember let us think of about it MPL is positive typically we take it as positive it means if we keep the capital fixed and increase the labor what will happen output will, output will increase and MPK is also positive what will happen Q will increase whenever we keep the labor fixed and increase the capital fine ok. Now, that is why we we get this particular shape is not it. This particular shape of isoquan we obtain because what we take MPL is greater than 0 and MPK is greater than 0. It means MRTS the way we have defined is negative. So, we will always get a downward sloping isoquant that is also the reason is also because we have talked about monotonicity earlier. So, this is the shape we get fine, but what happens as L goes on increasing M P K also increases what is M P K marginal product of capital. Think about is the scenario is that of course, we have now again whenever we are talking about M P K we are fixing at two particular label. So, let us look at it we have label L 1 and label L naught and L 1 and L 1 is greater than L naught. We have M P K marginal productivity of labor at L is equal to L naught and we have marginal product of capital at L is equal to L 1 and what happens that this one is greater than typically this one is greater than this one. Why? Can you think of a reason? So, by example it is very easy. To so, tell me one example. Like sir, if you have 7 computers and 7 laborers, now if one more labor, laborer comes like 8 laborers and 7 computers. Now, if you increase the one computer more, its productivity would increase more rather than if you decreasing. Uh, if you have 6 products and 6, if you have 6 computers and uh, 8 laborers. Okay. Is it clear? What we have here is MPL delta L okay. plus MPK delta K. This should be equal to 0 on the same isoquant. Is it clear? Now, what happens as L increases? as L increases, what happens to MPL? Decreases. We do not know all the time, we do not know, we do not know what happens all the time. Okay? It may increase, it may decrease as we have talked about earlier, fine. Okay? So, but how about here? MPK? It would increase. M P K typically increases. So, basically what is happening the capital is becoming more and more productive. Capital as with more labor capital is becoming more and more productive. So, small amount you take out and you get equivalent reduction because more productive goes in the both direction and that is why marginal rate of technical substitution diminishes as L increases or in other word it becomes because it becomes it tends towards it becomes more horizontal as L keeps on increasing and in the opposite direction it tends to become vertical, but see one exception is here one exception is here where we have both the factor of production 
as complement there it is not applied there it is not applied. So, this is a property of convexity this is a property of convexity that we had talked about earlier. Okay? So, when pr production technology is convex what do we get that marginal rate of technical substitution diminishes as the first input <laughs> amount of first input increases is it clear. Now, let us talk about elasticity of substitution. Okay. What is elasticity of substitution? Sir, can you repeat the last sentence once more? I can note that down. Which one? Uh, about the MP and MPK, which I told right now. Here, in this case? Yes, sir. As L increases, MPK increases typically. Yes, sir. So, but it goes in the both. MPK is increasing at that point, it is not marginal product of labor is not just in one particular direction, it is in the both direction. So, to compensate for the same you know to no to just because labor has increased, so output will increase. So, what we do we need? We need to take out little bit of we need to take out some capital, so that we come back to the same level of production. So, M P K is increasing. So, if we will take little bit of capital, what will happen? We will come back to the same level of production. As M P K goes on increasing, we need to take less and less amount of capital out to come back to the same level of production. And that is why we get diminishing marginal rate of technical substitution. Is it clear? Fine? Okay. 